Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. So today I've got something really, really cool. I've got the Morph RDA. This is actually a screwless single coil RDA. <clears throat> when I say screwless, I mean that you have no screws you have to worry about. You literally just have to push down the clamps, put your coils in, wick it up, you know, do your regular coil thing, wick it up and then vape on it. Lots and lots of clouds. Um, yeah, so we're gonna take a look at this and I'm gonna tell you all my thoughts about it at the end. So let's go ahead. Okay, so here we are with the Morph RDA by Tiger Tech. This is the packaging that it comes in. It says Morph RDA. It's plain here, you've got some specifications. Well, actually more uh, what's included in the box here, which is the RDA with the wide board dock cap drip tip. It says a Delrin 510 drip tip with adapter. That's not true. It's actually an additional 810 Delrin drip tip. Um, bottom feeding pin and some spare parts. And then it shows you here what color it is and then your scratch and sniff. And then you open up the box. Um, if you notice, it says screwless, <clears throat> and I was really, really excited to bring this to you guys because this is absolutely perfect, especially, especially for newer builders. So I think that, that you're really going to like this. It is screwless, and I'm going to show you what I mean about that. Now you open up the box. These things are actually on the bottom, but I did pull them out on top for you to make it a little bit easier. This is just the instruction booklet for the Morph um, RDA. It tells you, you know, how to take it apart how to build on it, what to do with it, where the airflow is and things like that. And then you've got a multitude of other languages. It's a really, really nice book. I like the pictures in it. And then here's a spare parts bag. Here is your um, bottom feeding pin. So if you were to want to squonk with this RDA, you can. You would just switch out the pins to this one. It does come with some extra grub screws. These are for when you change out the springs. Um, and here are some extra springs and O-rings, and then of course your Allen key to get out the springs. And I'll show you a little bit about that. I'm not gonna remove the springs, but I'm gonna show you a little bit about that. Here's your extra Delrin drip tip. Again, this is an 810, this is not a 510 by any means. So there's your extra drip tip. And then it does come with this drip tip, which is called a dock drip tip because of the um, the configuration that it has, like the, the, the design. Um, this is the RDA. The RDA is actually 24.5 millimeters in diameter. And on the bottom, it does say Morph RDA by Tiger Tech. And um, it just says Morph here, and then it has nothing here. I really like that, that it's, it's, it's very simple. This is very, very simple. I do love the design that it has here. It's like aesthetically pleasing. Um, the airflow is really big. If you, you can see my hand through it, like that's how big it is. So yeah, that's, that's really big. <laughs> so it does have a lot, a lot of airflow. So let's go ahead and open this up so that I can show you more. I'm just going to put it on here so that you can see it better. Well, and so I can use it. So we're going to go ahead and take off the top cap. Okay, now these O-rings are really, really tight. It's gonna be really, really tight. I did already use this and wash it and um, lube up my O-rings. That's why it did come off a little bit easier. This is actually the inside. It is conically designed, so there is a dome shape to it. Um, there, that's how that is. Um, in order for you to adjust the airflow, you actually have to turn the whole thing. If you notice it sits like this, you would have to turn the whole cap. It's not this top part. This top part is just there for design. It's not there to actually um, do anything. You can't remove anything. It doesn't have any air flows. It's just for the design. So um, that's the top cap. And then we've got the deck. The deck is really, 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 really deep. I mean, when I tell you deep, like it is like, look, like it's, it's really deep. Um, very, very deep juice well. Very big airflow holes, as you see here. And one, of course, on this side, it does have the two O-rings. And then these are what they call like a clamp style without any screws. You will see like right in here, there's like a little, this is where you get the extra grub screws. This is when you're gonna be switching out the springs. That's the only time that you would need to use a, um, the Allen key or the additional grub screws would be for that. Otherwise, to trap your leads, all you do is you just press down. 
you press it down. Now it is a little bit stiff at the beginning. You press it down and you put your lead there. You press this one down and your lead can go. I'm trying not to block it. And your lead would go in there. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. It's really, again, it's really, really simple. So basically all you would need is the coil and clippers and of course, you know, the things to um, dry burn your coils. Um, I'm gonna be using my last Alien um, coil from this group here. I did just go ahead and make another wrap on here. I just took my regular leg and I just, un well, actually I think I took it off. I unwrapped it and just faced it the other way. No, this one actually I did rewrap it. I just put it on the jig and just wrapped it the rest of the way. But this is um, actually an Alien coil. This is the three times 26 Nichrome 80 over 36 Nichrome 80. And this for the set, it's supposed to ohm out at 0.1 to 0.12. So it's probably gonna be like a 0.2 or around there. So what you're gonna do is you do have to have your leads facing different ways. You have to have one going this way and one going this way. So we're actually gonna go ahead and trap a lead in that side and then we're gonna trap one in this side. You can put your coil this way or you can put your coil this way, either way that you wanna do it. I'm actually gonna be putting it this way. So I'm gonna open this up and then slide this in here. And it's gonna be a little bit hard to do this on camera and pressing it in, but I'm gonna do it. So let me get my screwdriver, my handy dandy screwdriver because it just makes it so much easier sometimes. And you're just gonna press down here. Again, it's a little bit hard. Press down here and slide that in with my thumb. I wanna to try to get this one in at the same time. So let's do, yeah. Let's just do that one. Okay, so press down and slide in. And then on the other side, we're gonna bring this over and then press down and slide in. There we go. So we've got that one in. I'm just gonna slide this one in a little bit more. Again, it is kind of hard <laughs> because it is a tight spring so that your coil does not come out. And then you want to center your coil. I'm making sure that this is in camera view. Can you see it? Yes, okay. Now what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna bring down the coil because I want it to actually be lined up with the airflow. So I'm gonna bring this down and I'm just gonna take my, my screwdriver and bring it down so that I can see it in my airflow a little bit more. Okay, can you see? There it is there. Bring it a little bit more. There we go. Now I can see my coil and I want it to get right underneath my coil. So there's my coil, there's the placement. I'm just gonna line it up here a little bit more to this side. There we go. And then there you go, that's it. All you gotta do is just clip it. So basically just, you know, something to place it and then I'm gonna clip this one really, really close. Just get that up a little bit. I'm gonna clip this one. And I'm gonna clip this one. And I want to try to make it a little bit closer. So I'm going to do it this way. Oops. And this way. There we go. And then, see? They're nice and done. Now all we need to do is dry burn our coil. I'm going to go ahead and do that. And I need my tweezers, which I have seemed to have lost. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and dry burn this. So I'm just going to lower down my wattage. And then we'll start getting it to glow evenly from the center out. I'm just going to start pulsing it. And it's starting. So I'm just going to start pinching it and pulsing it. And pinching it and pulsing it. And yes, these are my favorite coils. They turn blue. So in the end, they will be beautiful and match my box, you see? <laughs> They'll be beautiful just the way I like them. So just pinch and pulse, and pinch and pulse, and pinch and pulse, and pinch and pulse, and there we go. Firing from the inside out, so all we gotta do is wick it. Again, you can see my coil from the side so let's go ahead and get my cotton. And of course, for my cotton today, 
I will be using my Kendo Babe Cotton Gold Edition. So I'm gonna go ahead and get a piece of that out. And I'm kind of running low on my pieces. So there we go. I gotta get the other package because no, Wendy does not run out of Kendo. Okay, so we're gonna let this cool down for a second, then we're gonna wake so up. I've got my cotton here. I'm just gonna take a little bit off of this because the thing is too thick. Just start twisting it up. I'm gonna put it right through there. And if you notice, like the sides, the cutouts are perfect for it. So it's not like it's gonna get in the way, even though it's a very deep juice well, it's not gonna get in the way of you wicking it or anything like that because they are low cutouts. And I'm trying to see this on camera and do this is like a little bit difficult, but we will get it. Okay, let me just grab that. I'll do this a little bit better. Actually, let me do the other end. The other end is a little bit longer. Right through the hole. There we go. Come on. You know I'm on camera. Come on, let's go. Let's get this through here. <clears throat> okay, you ever have this problem like in your personal life, like where you're trying to put something through the hole and it just doesn't go? <laughs> yeah, that's the problem I'm having right now. Okay, I've that through, there we go, got enough to grip. There we go, so it's not too tight and it's not too loose, you see that? Not too tight, not too loose, which is just the way we want it. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and fluff out my sides, because that's what I do. I like to make them fluffy. Okay, and then I'll go ahead and just cut this off right here, cut this off right there. Leave a little bit there. Bring this over just a little bit more. Just gonna put it right in. There we go. And put this one in. And there we go. It's in. It's all done. It's ready. So let's go ahead and juice it up. So for today's juice, I'm gonna be using this loaded. This is the lemon bar. Yum, yum, yum. If you like lemon bars, you will like this. <clears throat> so I'm going to go ahead and put this on here and I'm going to pulse it as I put on my e-liquid. That way I know that it is saturating the cotton from within the coil. I'm just going to take some off there, that there. There we go, and the cotton is already wet on the outside. There we go. I'm just gonna bloop it right in there because you know why? It's that deep. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and put the cap on it. And then we will go on top and we will talk about the Morph RDA. Ah, there we are. See you okay, on top. So here we are back on top with the Morph RDA. And I have to tell you, Flavor is really, really good. The ease of putting it in the coils, once you get, you know, you've done it a few times and you, you know, use the clamps, it's gonna loosen up a little bit more. But it does have to be a little bit hard because it has to hold your coils in tightly. If it doesn't, when you go to maneuver it, the coils are gonna move, which kind of defeats the whole purpose of putting the coils in to begin with. So yeah, so let's go ahead and have a vape. Oh my God, flavor. And clouds, just the way I like it. So yes, yeah, so I'm really, really excited about this. It's 24.5 millimeters in diameter, as I mentioned down below. Screwless post, post clamps, which are super easy. Yeah, they're a little bit hard, I won't lie. But it's easy and it's great for a single coil. I think that this is a really, really nice option. If somebody is looking into starting with RDAs, this would be a perfect starter RDA. You don't have to worry about screwing them down. You don't have to worry about like where, 
the leads go and one over here, one over there. You don't have to worry about all that. You don't need a screwdriver. Basically, I only use my screwdriver just to actually place the coil and try to move it around a little bit and to lower it down. But other than that, you really, you don't even need that. You can use one of those coiling jigs even. Like something like this. A coiling jig, you could easily use this and put it down. You don't even need a screwdriver. You do need the clippers. You do need some cotton. And yeah, so that's about it. So like you can't really get any easier than this. I think that this is great. Um, a great invention. I think that, and the clouds are crazy. Like you can use any 810 drip tip because this is 810 drip tip compatible. Um, so it does come off so you can switch it out. It's just the, this is the dock tip that it comes with. Um, so any aftermarket 810 size will fit and look at it. Nothing but clouds like and flavor and to close down your airflow you just turn this that's all you have to do now I will tell you if you go to turn it back the other way it will loosen up so you will have to go all the way around because otherwise it doesn't have anything to lock the the top cap in place so it will spin but I mean look how easy it is so you can have it wide open you can have it shut down it's that easy it's one cap so absolutely love this RDA. I think that it's, oh, and even, you want to hear something even better? Let me tell you. It's $15.99 on VaporDNA.com. If you click the link down below, $15.99 for this RDA. You can't beat it. It's an amazing RDA. I love the clamps. Um, I don't, I don't know what else to say about it. You can put beefy coils in it. You've got enough juice. It's got a huge juice well. So you can literally just like, I'm gonna, let me see. Do I have to drip? Yeah, let me go ahead and drip. I'm gonna drip it right down the center for you, watch. Because the juice well is just deep. So I'm gonna take my dripper, got my dripper, and I'm just gonna plop it down. There you go, it's not dripping. It's not leaking because the juice well is so deep. So yeah. I think this is amazing, an amazing, amazing RDA. I think that, you know, I definitely recommend it, especially for people starting to do RDAs that wanna get into something a little bit easier. It's single coil, which is awesome for beginners in my opinion, um, and it's it's easy. And it's $15.99, $15.99. So you can't really go wrong. If you wanna squonk with it, you can do that too. Again, you can't over squonk because that juice well is really, really deep. So. This would even be a great squonking RDA. I don't have a squonk that I want to drip that I want to squonk on right now, but who knows? I'll probably change it to a squonking RDA. I change things often, but um, yeah. So if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not already subscribed and you want to see some more of my videos, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Do not forget to hit that little bell notification. That way you're notified anytime that I have another video. Um, I do my live shows on Mondays, so that way you'll be notified of the live stream. Um, yeah, and all that, all that jazz. Um, another thing is, is all my social media links are also down below, as well as my Patreon page and some new Facebook groups as well are also linked down below. So please come and visit. Um, we'd love to see you. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave it down in the, in the comments below. I make sure to answer every comment, um, as it comes in, um, as fast as I can. So yeah, I'll get back to you. So until the next one.